guys welcome to my tutorial for on how to fix the uh, launch crash for Crusader Kings 2 so I just got this game yesterday and I got pretty pissed uh, when I realized that it wasn't working so this is more of a compatibility issue than anything else it's not the game's fault it's really just the computer so maybe this will work for you maybe not but this worked for me and I haven't only seen one other guy do it but he didn't even do it the same way so there's only one other video on this so I just decided that I would show you guys this way how to do it uh, if you didn't understand so if you click on Crusader Kings 2 I can't do it because my recording system I've tried to do it like three times and my recording system has just said uh, no we're not going to show the game for some reason so basically what's going to happen you're going to click on Crusader Kings 2 play it's going to come up you're like, oh yeah, I'm about to play it. And it's going to get to like loading events or loading sounds, and it's just going to crash. It's going to say, Crusader Kings 2 uh, has a counter problem. Do you want us to exit? So yeah, do that. Um, so then, after that, um, we'll see. Uh, it's going to just exit. So what I decided is to show you guys how to do this. So first you're going to go to the Windows tab, uh, click Computer right here. You're going to go to Local Disk. Program files x86. You scroll down a little bit to get to Steam. Then you're gonna go to um, Steam apps common um, Crusader Kings 2. And then when you get to this, uh, you're gonna want to locate your CK2 game. Uh, you're gonna right click it, go to properties, uh, compatibility. So for this problem that I encountered. Um, you're gonna have this button. It should be able to. Uh, I didn't mean to click that. Alright, so it's gonna. Um, you're gonna have this property thing up. So, it's this is the same exact thing, but I'm allowed to change here. So basically, you're gonna have this as. Um, it's gonna be. Windows XP Service Pack 3. So what that's saying is that it's running with Windows XP instead of Windows 7 that you're having. So if, I mean, if you have XP, then you should be fine. But probably not a good idea to have XP at this time. Get yourself a new computer. Um, so I'm gonna go down, and you're just gonna click on Windows 7, run this program, and then you're gonna also click run this program as an administrator, and then you're gonna click Apply and OK and then OK and then uh, you can X that out uh, and then you can go click on Crusader Kings 2 play and then it should come up and it should just scroll through it might take a little bit longer but um, to load it does take a while to load I don't know why maybe that's just my computer but there's your fix work for me so I really hope it works for you if it doesn't work for you please uh, just comment below and I can answer as many questions as you want and I'll send you links uh, to the Steam uh, what's wrong page so uh yeah thanks for watching uh and i hope to see you guys in another video bye